Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. I think this is my first video of the year, which is, yeah, it's what, beginning of February. But I thought it was about time I did a video on all of the polishes that I picked up in, in January, well, since the beginning of this year. How is everybody? How are you managing? Uh, <laughs> well, UK are in like, I can't remember now whether it's the second or third lockdown. Um, which is consequently why I've been obviously buying lots of polishes, lots of online shopping. Um, but I did get some um, vouchers as well for Christmas, uh, Rainbow Connection vouchers. So I did pick up the first polishes we're going to look at are these lovely Rainbow Connection polishes that I've got with my vouchers for Christmas. I did actually buy another couple of polishes from Rainbow Connection, but I'm going to send them over to Amanda the Nail Polish Hound so they may feature on one of her videos but these are the ones that I picked up from Rainbow Connection this I just could not resist um, in I think the sales were on as well in January there was a sale on on the website um, and I just this one looks absolutely beautiful a kind of muddy grey pink and loads and loads of flakes this one's called Ruska um, I've got a swatch wheel here so we'll have a look but the I just love the flakies from I'd, I seem to be just picking up polish for days every time I do a, a nail polish haul um, but yeah it's got like a kind of grey base with a ton of pink gold multi-chrome flakes and it's absolutely beautiful I will put a second coat on that but let me show you the swatch of it. I loved this polish. So that's Ruska from Polish for Days. And then I picked up another flaky. This is an Emily de Molly and this is called Double Cross. I've worn this one recently as well. Um, it's a black base. Um, it's a kind of black Crelly base but it's got so much multi-chrome flakes that it almost looks like a a really dark green on the nail it's uh, it's a very pretty flaky so that's Emily de Molly Look how beautiful that is I mean it's got like it's it looks very autumnal but then there's lots of um, blue in there as well and um, like purple pink it's beautiful so that's Double Cross from Emily de Molly. And then I picked up a Rogue Lacquer. I've seen this brand on Instagram quite a lot over the last couple of years. And this one just looked beautiful. It's um, I have worn this recently and I wore it for about three days. So I've got a, a, a bit of a scruffy swatch picture of this. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's called Let Them Eat Cake. And... It's got a kind of rose gold chrome flake in this beautiful kind of sea foam green. It's really quite a delicate shade. It's not really bright on the nail. It's quite muted, but it is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, really impressed that I've got this brand. That's Rogue Lacquer Let Them Eat Cake. But I, I'm sure you've all noticed this craze for this, uh, the, the black to red multi-chrome. And I tried this one. Um, I did actually pick up another one that I'll show you in a second. I will do a comparison. But this one is KB Shimmer's version and this one's called Obsidian. And I really did enjoy wearing this. I didn't manage to get a swatch picture of it, but I took some footage for a work colleague um, just to show the... The ship just to show the sort of shifty effect um, so that is obsidian and I don't know if you'll be able to see on the swatch wheel at all a little bit there um, but it, it does shift from quite a bright kind of coppery red to uh, a, a purpley like a purpley black definitely goes black um so i'll show you the the footage of me managing to capture this on the nail so 
those are the four that I picked up from Rainbow Connection. And then I noticed that there was a sale. There was a January sale with Prism Polish. So I and I'd totally forgotten that I'd already picked up the KB Shimmer and I got really ca carried away with this black to red multi-chrome. So this is Prism Polish's version of this and it's called Magma. And this, I haven't worn it, haven't swatched it. I wanted to do a comparison with the KB Shimmer and I'm actually going to send this polish to the Nail Polish Hound and she's going to do exactly the same. She's going to do a comparison. Um, I think she's bought a couple of um, of the black to red multichromes recently. This has got a much thinner um, a much thinner formula, which makes me think it's perhaps going to be a bit more shifty. You can yeah, you can already just on that one coat, you can see that there's definitely a multichrome shift in there. Um, but I'll come back and put a second coat on and we'll see if there's any noticeable difference between these two black to red multi-chromes. So this one is the KB Shimmer and this one is Magma from Prism. And another Prism polish that I picked up, these were from, I think, a January, like a New Year collection. Um, poor decisions so they were all um, like puns on new year phrases I guess um, this one I haven't worn yet I'm, I'm quite partial to white shimmers white with this especially that pink shimmer and this looks like it's got some crushed flakes in there as well I think I've managed to just trap something in there uh, yeah there you go you can see it there that is quite a strong shift. That's just one coat of poor decisions from Prism Polish. I'm going to wear this one soon, actually. Very pretty. And this next one here, I have worn. On the nail, this flash isn't as strong. Um, it just gives it a nice, more of a sort of silvery shimmer. And you, you, can, you can see it in some lights, but it's just not as pronounced as it, in, as it is in the bottle. And this one's called January. Oh, January. Um, I just love the names. And it's a very pretty pastel kind of duck egg blue. Uh, I've got a daylight lamp here, so maybe you'll be able to see that shimmer. Um, yeah, it just isn't on me. It wasn't as strong on the nail, but it's a very, very pretty blue. So that's January from Prism Polish. And then there were a couple of other polishes. I can't even remember them now that I was trying to get and they just went. Um, this was from, I think, um, a, the spring collection, Wild Primrose. And it just looked really pretty because it's got lots of, again, that pink shimmer in a muted... It's got some flakes in there as well, like gold shimmery flakes in a muted yellow base. Um, I am so looking forward to the spring. I want to get out in the garden and do some gardening um, and a bit of a project to sort of get some seating in the garden as well. So I can sit out there in the summer. And this is a very subtle um, pale pastel yellow you can see that that glittery shimmer in there that's really pretty that's wild primrose in the little mini i also picked up some arda's nails and actually this one was sent to me cat has been doing uh cat from arda's nails has been doing um something called pay it back where she basically sends people free polish to cheer them up um and she sent me this beautiful cream this is becky um which is a fairly new cream um Arda's nails does some absolutely fantastic creams and i got this because i saw it on instagram and it looked so it looked really really bright it looked kind of like pacific blue bright um and it's i don't know what it's going to look like in the camera because i cannot seem to capture the true color of this polish it's to me 
yeah that's actually quite true to colour it's a very very bright um, more of a calm flower blue rather than a pacific blue i've actually got a swatch of and it's going to look the same on camera i bet now you can see it's a bit it's a bit brighter and darker um, so that's pacific blue and that one is becky and it's a beautiful cream i mean you can see the formula it's pretty much opaque in one coat um, but there's a t touch more sort of purple it's a really really unusual shade it looks different in different lights and I absolutely love it so that's Becky and it was the pay it forward polish that um, that Kat sent me in January to cheer me up and it absolutely did I was delighted to get this so thank you so much Kat I picked up another couple of creams. Um, these are some new creams from Arda's Nails. This one is called Juju. Um, yeah, I think it's it's a it's a very pretty bubblegum pink. Um, and I actually, when I got this, I thought, oh, I think I might have made a mistake. I, I actually thought I already had this polish, but I haven't. This is Juju from the Cream Collection, and it is a really pretty pink. And then there's this one here I can't resist, especially in the new year, um, nude, pol nude polishes. And this one is Emma. And again, it's really pretty sort of many hands if my hands weren't so red. And um, I've got lots of polishes like this, but I just can't resist. It is a very beautiful sort of muted, neutral shade. Love it. Really, really pretty. So that is Emma. That's some really fantastic creams there from Arda's Nails. And then I also picked up this one, which absolutely was on on a no-buy. I'm on a no-buy. <laughs> so this is from, there was a Resolutions trio. I can't remember what the other ones were called, but look how beautiful that crushed flake shimmer is in this really pretty sort of denim blue base, I think. Haven't worn this one yet. Um, so... I'm going to keep this one out and wear this one. It's very similar, actually, just looking at it. To me, it looks quite similar to the um, Bright Ideas collection polishes. Maybe a little bit more pale. It reminds me a little bit of, I think this was called Da Vinci, I think. It's quite similar, but this one is more of a purpley blue and this one's more of a bright this one's more of a bright blue yeah that's definitely got more purple in it um so that is i'm on i'm on a no buy i'm guessing that should be but i'm on on a no buy um from arda's nails and it's definitely it's definitely very shimmery then my polish pickup order came in. I actually bought five polishes, but I'm sending one of the polishes to Amanda the Nail Polish Hound because I've got a, I've kind of already got a dupe of that in a Princess Nail Lacquer Polish. But I do enjoy, I'm really enjoying just getting brands that are new to me. So I've got this beautiful Lollipop Posse Lacquer. So this is from the December polish pickup and the theme of December was everything's fine or everything's going to be fine um, and it was a kind of pandemic COVID sort of uh, related theme so this one's called Relentless look how pretty that is and so this is Lollipop Posse Lacquer Relentless and um, it's always so difficult to know what the base colour is going to be when there's so many flakes but this looks like quite a bright kind of denim blue maybe even a bit brighter than that yeah it's quite a bright mid-tone blue you can see the shimmer and yeah it's got obsessed with the pink shimmer and it's just got a ton of flakes in there as well that's a really pretty polish so that's relentless it looks like nothing like in the uh in the bottle but i'll see what that's like when it's built up in a couple of coats so that's relentless from lollipop posse lacquer 
And then you're not going to be able to see this at all on the swatch wheel, but I was fascinated by this. It's a thermal. I don't I don't have a lot of thermals, but just the contrast on this. It's white and blue. Um, it's white in its warm state and blue in its cold state. I'll put some swatch pictures up of me. I think this was the first one that I wore when I got the, the um when I got the order through. And so it it it's just absolutely stuffed with these multicolored glitters um and it's you won't i mean i'll show you the the swatch pic if you i'll show you the swatch picture so you can see the overall effect of the thermal but it is so pretty and this one is called pj's my jam and it's from the and it's from the december polish pickup and it's br another brand that's new to me danny viana So I totally forgot that I had actually picked up a Rogue Lacquer polish in the Rainbow Connection haul that I had at the beginning of the year. And when I got this, I thought, oh no, they're really similar. But actually, they're, they're not. This is quite a bright blue. And this is very much a muted seafoam green, let them eat cake. And this one is called The Sky is Falling. So again, it's that uh, everything is fine theme. And um, this one, I have worn. Um, in fact, I have worn most of them actually. I need to start get. I need to get those hard as nails polishes on my nails. Um, this one is. Um, it's. It's a lot brighter. If you can see the difference, that's the other rogue lacquer there. If you can see this one's definitely more blue. Um, the. The glitters in this did stand up a little bit so I definitely had to put like a heavy top coat on that but it was very pretty I really enjoyed wearing this one so that is an, my second rogue lacquer and it's called the sky is falling and then finally from polish pickup this is another pandemic themed this is this is called it's a nice day for a covid wedding which <laughs> it's never a nice day for a covid wedding is it but i do understand the the theme i'll swatch this but it's actually the polish also that i've got on my nails today um it's a noodles polish which is another brand that's new to me i've been meaning to pick up a noodles polish for ages because i'd heard that they do really really good crellies however <laughs> Not that I'm an expert with Crellies at all, but this one, as I was applying it just before the video, uh, yeah, and you can see a little bit again, I have my, excuse my cuticles, I have put a top coat on here, but it is still a little bit bumpy. The glitters kind of sank and then it felt quite textured. And I do, I know that I do have other white Crellies that don't do that that sit really quite well on the nail and have a great formula so i don't know if this is because it's like gold glitters and maybe they just lie heavier in the suspension base but it's a very pretty polish it's a kind of off-white slightly kind of creamy off-white the glitters are gold and there's a kind of muted pink in there as well I don't know if you can see that at all on the nail. Um, but yeah, to be honest with you, <laughs> I've got better white Crellies. Um, so, mm. and this is it's terrible, isn't it, when this happens? The first polish from a brand that you've never used before and you're really excited about it and then the first one you get is a bit disappointing. Zoya was a little bit like that for me. Um, but yeah, I, I like it, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> I think I've got, I think I probably could have got a better noodles polish for my first noodles nail polish. But that, anyway, there you go. And then I was chatting to Anna on Instagram and she was showing me some polishes that she got, but I couldn't stop staring at the polish she was wearing on her nails. It just was like this glow from within but in a green 
gold shifty multi-chrome anyway she told me it was polish me silly i immediately went on the website and she, there was a code that she gave me as well so thanks anna and i ended up picking up three polish me sillies look how bright this one is it's beautiful this one is called glow worm and it's got a really really strong pink just a really strong pink um crushed flaky shimmer this one is look how pretty that is i um i have worn this one i don't know why i didn't take a swatch picture of it but we will put it on the swatch wheel and then this one here this one here is called Toe Tally Cosmic. And I think this is from the G Glow Collection. I can't remember the name of them. Um, and this one's called Purple Haze. So I'm, as you can see, I'm running out of, I'm running out of spaces on the swatch wheel. I have actually swatched this one already a couple of weeks ago. And it's because I thought, oh no, I've got a dupe for this polish. And I thought that it was really, really similar to this Cirque Colours. This is High Society, which Anna also sent me uh, last summer, I think it was. And this has got a really, really pretty gold shimmer. But this one has got this really bright pink shimmer. Anyway, I swatched them side by side and that's both of them there. So the they are similar. The green is definitely very similar. But the flash in... The Polish Me Silly is definitely more pronounced, much brighter than High Society. This is a pretty polish and I do like the gold, but this one is incredible. But to be honest with you, out of the two of them, I do prefer this one. So I'm looking forward to wearing it. So let's have a look at these two here. This is Purple Haze and this is a really bright violet purpley polish with that beautiful pink shimmer. It looks a bit kind of like unicorn pea pigment. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's that sort of gold, pink to gold shimmer. And it's it's absolutely fantastic. It actually looks better on camera than it does on the swatch wheel to my eye. Um, but it's beautiful. So that's Purple Haze. And this one is, I haven't even swatched this one yet. This is Totally Cosmic. And I'm just wondering if it'll look anything like it did on Anna's nails when she was showing me on Instagram. It looks a little bit more muted, so I'm just wondering where that bright green flash is. I'm guessing you'll see that in... Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> I was going to say you can see that in different lights. This is so shifty. Um because it actually looks quite sort of a silvery green there, but it looks like a gold green in the bottle. And then, yeah, you can definitely see that bright green glow as well, which is really unusual. Um, I do have lots of multi-chrome greens, but I don't quite have anything. It's almost like two polishes in one. Oh, I do like that one. Yeah, I'm glad I picked up some Polish Me Sillies again, completely new brand to me. So I've been branching out quite a bit in January. OK, I'm going to put a second coat on everything and um, we'll just have a very quick look at this wheel one last time. I'm particularly interested to see if there's much of a difference between these black red multichromes. So that's Ruska. This one is the Emily de Molly Double Cross. Let them eat cake from Rogue Lacquer. And then we've got the two red, black to red multi-chromes. This one is KB Shimmer and this one is Prism Polish. And I don't know if you can see from that angle there, but to my eye, this one is more of a black and the Prism Polish looks more like a really, really, really dark purple. They've both got that really striking red flash multi shift in there it's not even a flash it's a shift um the black to red hopefully you can see that there let me know if you've managed to pick up any of these uh, lots of brands have got them some of them have put some flakes in them and yeah it just uh, they're just really unusual it kind of reminds me formula wise of a couple of years ago now halloween collection i think it was 2019 um the to catch a color 
china glaze halloween collection and they had a polish in there that i actually de-stashed it was called private side eye which kind of reminds me of this polish rather than it shifting to red it was more of a greeny purple um, but very similar if anyone had um private side eye let me know that's uh, these ones here are the prism polish um, so that's Poor Decisions, January and Wild Primrose and the beautiful Arda's Nails Creams, Becky, Juju and Emma and that is the I'm on a No Buy which has got a really really strong pink flash that's the really really complex flaky that's from Lollipop Posse Lacquer that's the really fun Crelly um, from Danny Viana. That's the other Rogue Lacquer, which is The Sky is Falling. That's the Covid Wedding Noodles Nail Polish. These two here are the Polish Me Silly polishes along with this beautiful bright green. I absolutely love all three of these, but especially that one just really stands out absolutely fantastic so that's all of the polishes that i've been buying for january i have been looking at february's polish pickup but i i don't know i have just bought a collection i'll probably be doing a sort of unboxing and swatching video for that collection so that should be out fairly soon let me know what you've picked up over the january sales the beginning of the year has it been a big nail polish buying month for you i feel as though i've I've picked up probably more polishes this month in January um, and it doesn't seem to be stopping in February than I did for the entire 2020. It's really strange. I just seem to have gone on a bit of a nail polish binge um, at the moment. I was watching one of Amy's Nail Polish Baby 90 videos recently where she said that she's she's buying a lot of nail polish as well at the moment. I think it's just because we're in, we're, we're in lockdown, lots of online buying. Um, I'd, the only other exciting thing really to update you on that I've um, been on a bit of a health journey since the beginning of New Year um, and I've managed to lose 20 pounds so far I've, I've put piled on a lot of extra pounds during the lockdowns um, and also over Christmas but there was I had you know I've got a lot of weight to lose um, let me put it that way but I'm off to a good start down 20 pounds So um, if anybody else is on a health journey at the moment, good luck, um, stick at it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know which polishes you've picked up that are your favourite so far this year. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.